Welcome to a new content series called... So basically, I'm going to be stepping you through uh, why I think the way I do with my custom tactics. Then we're going to play a match right into foot champs and go from there. It's, it's really my crash squad. I've got about 6 million investments. And where I'd be investing most of my coins right now is actually into my midfield and my defense. But here's the formation that I use, guys. I am actually using the 4-3-2-1. Uh, so basically, the main key is this. Stay on edge, stay back, cover center. These guys cover center, very default. I do sometimes push these guys forward, given late stages of the game. I need some more players forward. I will, what I do, what I will do, <laughs> I will... I'll use the d-pad to send the attacking runs for it but basically guys this is what's unique about this nobody else is doing this the idea is this guys Messi drops as like a center forward and then these guys run in behind meanwhile having uh fast build up and forward runs on the attack uh, a lot of people like to do cut pass lanes and all that i keep it default because i want it to think i want the game to think i want them to use their own mind here and then stay forward stay forward stay forward but this one's balanced as well because I want him to drop and then we use Mbappe going forward and Janola going forward and then we pass the ball through with Messi. But let's go ahead and pop into the match, guys. Uh, I am going to be switching over to my other camera, so uh, bear with me here for a brief second. If, uh, if I remember, this guy's actually a decent player, so... Um, <coughs> looks like he's going to just go ahead and quit and not give me the win that's cool uh we don't get upset about that there's lovers and there's haters and that guy is a hater uh, and that's what it is so what i'm looking for guys is i'm actually uh oh and then we got one hey okay there's uh there's another person giving up on that anyways climbing up i guess i should just always play on sundays i guess because of that nice um, uh, decent squad here. Defensive work rate's gonna be great. So, okay, okay. The first thing, guys, I'm trying to think about when this is happening, I send an offside trap that helps reset my defense. You see how my players get into structure a little bit faster when he's swapping players? If you hit that offside trap, basically that's what's gonna happen. So he's trying to pull me out. Um, so I need to kind of swarm him. Ah, uh, I pulled up the... Okay, here we go. Boom. Right? there got him too easy man too easy don't do that oh that was a ball roll scoop um i wasn't sp and how <coughs> somebody explained that then right now guys we have a slight advantage oh my lord what is he doing man i'm it's obvious man it's obvious what he's doing it's, it's such an obvious play but oh my gosh Trust me, guys, we are going to pull this out. There we go. Straight up to the striker. Get him in. Ah! I'm not getting the turn right now, man. I'm not getting the turn, guys. I'm not getting my turns. Makes a huge difference. Okay, here we go. Oh, my lord. How is that? Ah. That's how you break a team down, guys. That's how you break a team down. Pass, cut, pass, move. But <laughs> um, it was more about positioning and angles. But that's why I love the 4 3 2 ones because I can play from the left side of the pitch to the right side of the pitch pretty quickly and still cover, uh, cover a counter and defensively. Come on, guys. When you see that run going, we need to track back. Why, 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 Hikimi? You're not dropping that low, man. Every single time, come on. And but that's the four three two one. That's how I attack in the four three two one essentially. You see how I play it out wide? I play it out wide and I cut in on an attacking angle. That's the idea there. That's all I was that's that's the whole mentality in that in that attack. The way this game is coded is I, I think it really needs almost a revamp. It, or it needs new mechanics for passing and shooting. Oh, and just double double faked him. Double faked. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I tried really quick, and oh, my gosh. But top spin, man. Yeah, that was a terrible free kick. There it is. Boom, one. Over the top, baby. Let's go. I. Oh, my Lord. That's not a messy touch right there. <laughs> Broken tackle animation. Come on. See how we applied the... 
Ah, come on, come on. No chance, man. No chance. If somebody's going to take a shot, guys, that's how you want it. You want it instantly, 360 shot, weak foot. If somebody's going to take a shot, that's how you want that's how you want them to take it, essentially. All right, so now we're in the 60th minute, guys. I'm up two goals. Uh, this is when we want to switch over to more of like a, a formation where I'm expecting them to start pressing us. And so we get a little bit wider out now. We're a little bit width. Our width is a little bit heavier. Um, my mentality is a little bit slower, so I changed to like a possession and a uh, slow buildup. And he's going to see it soon, so he's going to start pressing. But any, any player should be starting to press right now. Come on, why would you run to the edge? You're wide open. Stupid, 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 stupid. Look at the breakdown, though. Look at the breakdown. Oh, my gosh. Every single... Did I get it? Nah, just not fast enough. I need to do an R1X pass. That's what we need to do right there. But you guys can see how much... How dominant this... Oh, my goodness. I hate set pieces. When we get out wide and see that cut angle... Ah just got me just got me we're gonna cut that angle up the pitch that's essentially what we're trying to do in this uh in a 4-3-3 guys so boom yes perfect that's exactly the attack angle we want is that a save in real life i don't know that oh man So trash, man. Such trash gameplay, man. Don't you dare come up. This guy gets a goal. There's just no chance. First goal is luck. Second goal. Broke mechanic. Broke mechanic. Here's the thing about football, guys. He's only one possession away. He's only one opportunity away. Thank you. Just get it. Yeah. Let's take a peek at some of these goals here, guys. Let's take a peek at some of these goals. When this ball came over the top here, look at where my left back is. My left back's way out of position. And so he takes his first strong touch. You see my pursuit angle here? You see how my pursuit angle is going to his left shoulder, not towards the ball? That's essentially why he gets into that shot angle. This is really how goals should be scored, guys. We want to be like getting a fake shot, getting into the box, one, two, and boom. You know, like nobody's really expecting that one, two really to happen. I don't think so, but mistake. This is where that, th look, if you watch the trajectory of our... Uh, Today, Junior? Watch the pursuit angle that Marquinhos takes. I have no control over that. I have no control over the pace of the animation that's existing. And so he just gets over the top and is able to get the ball in a perfect, perfect run. And there's nothing you can do. And this is where we had a four goal expectancy, 60% possession, more shots, everything. Um, he had 33 tackles, guys. 33 tackles. Imagine trying to get 33 tackles in a game. I just, that's not. That's not how you should be playing. You shouldn't be playing that aggressive defensively. It's all about conversion, guys. It's about conversion there. 91 pack a pass accuracy. What was his pass accuracy at? What? 82%. So really low. And so we co totally dominated this play. And the thing about it is, like, what I look for in this scenario is, like, where the ball, like, where I lose the possession. We both lose it in decent relative areas. And so... <laughs> Um, it's pretty consistent. That's where you want to be losing. You want to be losing on their third. I only lose the ball. I lost the ball more than he did in, in the pressing third. I didn't press that much in this game because I just didn't need to. But realistically, guys, that's some uh, very basic stuff on how to progress as an attacker in this game. Um, look for those attacking angles. This is how you should be playing this. I didn't really switch to the 4 one 2 at all. And so we gave you pretty much the 4-3-2-1 uh, and how Messi drops. And how those guys press the back line. We create that space. That's how we were able to get a couple goals. We're waiting for that player to come at us. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, um, you know, if you appreciate the time it takes me to make, edit, do the thumbnails, do all the stuff in behind the scenes. I appreciate if you guys just watch a 30 second to a minute ad. That goes a long way to helping me. Thank you guys and we'll see you guys again.